So hello everybody, this is Ingrid Dinter and I am with John White today and uh, it's, it's a privilege, John. <laughs> you know, I think I said it before, but I'm just always a little starstruck um, because what you and the team has done already, and I know you're just getting started, is, is just a tremendous, tremendous contribution to well, in my belief in, in, to the world and to, you know, to people's healing. So... Thank you for that. Well, the strength is the team, not just one person, Ingrid. So I'm supported by good, very talented people. Well, I think some one of the things that I that I appreciate so much about Spooky is that from the very beginning, when I was introduced to it, I had the feeling that I can be part of something bigger and I can be part of a team. And everybody's pitching in. And um, I don't know if I actually ever told you how I got involved with this. Um, but it's, it's really kind of, it was the spooky spirit at the end of the day that made this so phenomenal to me. So, um, I always want to share this with you. So actually for, for at least three years, people have been kicking my butt about rifing or this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of therapy and in weird ways. So I had a client who told me, you have to, uh, you have to do this. She had, um, Lyme disease. I've been dealing with cancer. And, you know, you have to try this and it's amazing. And she was using a very expensive machine at the time. Yes. And so I was kind of like, Oof, you know, so it started in the 2000s and then went up and the customer service was for a year. And then every upgrade was hundreds of dollars. But at the end of the day, um, you know, compared to medicine that thankfully insurance is paying for my condition, which goes in the tens of thousands every month. It was, it was still, it made perfect sense, especially since she literally got rid of, cam, of, of, uh, of the Lyme. Um, but again, I wasn't really there. And then I had another person at a conference and he was just laughing. He was creating these little generators and he was selling them for whatever he was selling them for. And he was, he, he, again, he said, look, you got to understand, you know, viruses and bacteria can be killed with frequencies. This is not, and if we know what the frequencies are, we can just pop them off and, you know, you don't have cancer or other stuff anymore. Um, and again, you know, I it, it kind of sank in a little bit. And then I heard about herxing. And then I heard about people getting sick afterwards. And, and, you know, all these different things. And I was always on the fence. And I don't even know why I eventually just put out there, about it, probably on Facebook, that I was looking into rifing now. And I have this strange at the time, the strange woman, um, messaging me, you know, and she said, Oh my God, I heard you, you're going to write thing and you're interested. And I just want to tell you something. And she literally took an hour and a half explaining to me, and I didn't know her why this was working. She was using spooky too, why this was working, how it's working, what she's been doing, guiding me through the whole thing. And, um, and I just thought, you know, this is, this is, it, it came from that spirit first. I thought this is really, really special. I had not seen this anywhere else. Mm. I'd seen support, but I hadn't seen that. And then, yeah. And then I also, you know, I, I started to look into, uh, I started to look into spooky and um, it makes sense to me, especially with my background in, in energy healing, uh, it makes sense to me that everything has a vibration. And if you learn how to manipulate that vibration, things change in your mind, in your body. And it also made sense to me that our DNA is a double helix and as such, it's an antenna. And so I was thinking, you know, for a long time, actually, if I had a way to manipulate that antenna, and I don't know how to do that, but then I could actually change something in my body. Why wouldn't I be able to do that? You know, and, uh, and then I, I just, you know, all these open questions and, and realizations, they just came over time. And I realized that you, you guys were actually claiming that you had figured out a way to address this antenna and give information into my DNA that would then change it according to what I wanted it to do. And I thought it was really cool. 
And then I saw all the other things because I know that I can ask my body for yes and no, yes and no questions. I can do, you know, uh, muscle testing, kinesiology. I can say yes or no. I can ask my body questions. So clearly my body has a wisdom on its own. So if I found a way to ask my body all these questions and get all these cool answers, that'd be nice. And then y you had this built in. <laughs> right? I was like, whoa. That's right, that's right. It, it's, it's amazing. And, and I didn't have to do the guesswork and the books, the, you know, which frequency may work. And if I get sick, maybe I hit something. And it just went on from there. Um, so I just thought at some point, you know, I better... I better figure this out because something here, if this works, this is serious stuff. And um, yeah, I just got a clean bill of health. We just had a CT scan and I still do my traditional things, but that doesn't mean that the outcome that I have is what the doctors expect it to be. And, uh, you know, so thumbs up. It's a wonderful thing. Well, speaking, speaking to is quite a revolution. We have a huge number of people using Spooky, and they're passing the goodness forwards as they see positive results and their health issues being resolved, then they quite often take it on themselves to sort of tell other people. They want to help other people, people even that they haven't met, like in your case. And Spooky, it's, we, we try and make things as simple as possible, and we certainly make it as affordable as possible. Oh yeah, because because our focus isn't on the money side, our focus is on results and making a big a real change. For too long, people have been taking advantage of people that are sick who will do anything to get well again. And part of the anything is spend lots of money, which suits lots of business models. But we haven't really got a business model as such. We just want to grow, help more and more people, and make a real change. We have our, as part of our vision, what was part of a vision of a man in the 1920s, that is the end of all disease. That's part of our vision. We want to eliminate unnecessary suffering. And it all sounds very grandiose, and we can't do it ourselves. We need to have the help of thousands and thousands of people, which we do. And so in a very short time, Spooky is only five years old, Ingrid. And five years old. In five years, is grown from one person to 15,000, 20,000, probably much more people scattered throughout the world. And they're telling their friends. And so it's just snowballing, which is fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it is fantastic. And I think we all feel that on Facebook. I always see that when people come in new, they never... They, they always have somebody immediately to respond to them and to help them out and to support them because the beginning, I mean, in all honesty, um, I don't consider myself stupid, but the beginning is a learning curve. It, it's not intuitive. You know, it's not, you push the button and the thing happens. There are things you need to learn. And I think when people are intimidated by cables and, and even if they're not, I mean, brain fog is real. And, and brain fog, especially when you're sick, is real. And being tired is real. And being scared is real. And being overwhelmed is real. And being exposed to things that don't really make sense unless we really learn the ropes. All that is very real. And I, I know that before I first started my... Um, my spooky central. I waited a week just walking around, it, right? plugging it in, putting it out, uh, just because I've never seen <laughs> such a thing, right? Not, and, then, and I just had to come up with the guts at some point to use it. Um, and I did. And I just thought, you know, it's, it's going to be fine. But it's courage as well. And it's a new world for many people. And um, I think what I'm seeing with spooky is that it started so on such a high level that maybe this is the wrong word, but it sounds good to dumb it down to a place where somebody with brain fog can start is, is kind of, is, is, is it's, you are doing this now just to helping people out in this way. But um, it's that people actually need less information than what you've already given them because the, the Cadillac version is already out there. Anybody who under, really understands what you're doing, and really can read the manual and really understands the technology behind it and the theory behind it, they don't have a problem with Spooky Do. 
I think that people who have a problem are people who, yeah, everyday people who are just trying to heal from a, from an illness without getting, you know, confused. Mm, so what good. would you recommend? Well, it's, it's, it's very good point, Ingrid. Diseases are inherently complex. It's not just one type of germ, germ usually that's inside your body. It's a whole plethora of germs. It's like a whole city of bugs inside your body. And you've got to approach things in a certain way. And as you say, if you read a manual, it takes a long time, a lot of effort, and maybe you're not able to really absorb all this information due to brain fog or other reasons. And we've been working on trying to simplify things as much as possible. We have one machine which you pretty much turn on and you leave it. In fact, we've got two. One isn't specifically a spooky, it's a, it's a pulse TMF device. It's a little coil that we call right. our mirror mate mini magic. You've got one with you, have you? Oh, oh, the mini magic. Yes, I have this over there. Oh my God, this is a lifesaver in an airport or when you sit too long or when you go to a oh, conference, you just put it, it in. <laughs> you <good> again. <laughs> now, I've usually got one right with me, but it's just out within arm's reach. So yeah. uh, I'd have to go off camera to get it, but I, I always seem to have one in the same room as me just in case I need it. Yeah. It's a device you just turn on and you put yeah. the coils next to your body and, and, and that's, that's the end of your, of your backache or muscle strain. Yeah. And it's even good for broken bones as well. And so we're trying to focus on machines which just turn on. We have a do it button. So you turn it on and it does it. Yeah. And that's for a coil type machine. But we've just recently brought out a scalar machine. In fact, it's going to be released in two days' time. And that's another do-it machine. It's got a, you just turn it on and you can just do nothing else. Just turn it on. There's actually two machines that you connect together with a piece of wire. Then you just turn it on. Okay, there is a little, you've got to tune the device before you use it. But it's like tuning a radio. Very simple. The light comes yeah. on. And that's it. And then you just leave it. And so that's a, it's kind of a do-it machine as well. So we are focusing on machines which are very simple. But unfortunately, bugs are complicated, and sometimes you just have to go through certain routines. The software that Spooky uses has tried to make things as simple as possible, and it has what's called presets. And so you can, Ingrid, select a preset for a condition that you have and then you press you know you load up that preset and you run it and so it does help a lot but doesn't make it 100 percent you know child safe <laughs> it's it does it is a, still a little bit complex but we're trying our best to make things as easy as possible yeah no i definitely um and i think Something that I had to overcome was the fear that I could seriously mess something up, that I was at the mercy of something and uh, I shouldn't, you know, that for me, it was really just getting started and, and just trying something out and seeing what it does for me. Um, and I think it's wonderful that you start with the terrain protocol. And I think for people that are new, um, I'm sure you've heard this before and you're going to hear it again. It's the body has to get ready and, and heal itself off from anything that it possibly can and get rid of gunk before it actually can start healing. And uh, Spooky has this wonderful terrain protocol that just goes through every system step by step, takes 11 days and just gets rid of the metals and get, gets rid of the junk and the lymph. And then, and I mean, basically everywhere. Um, but again, in this, in this wonderful step-by-step -step fashion, and um, once that is done, th that, that's how it was for me. My confidence in using it was actually better because I realized it did something. Now, um, the other thing that I really, that I was so grateful for, um, when it came to the end of the heavy metal cleanse uh, in the terrain, I got sick as a dog, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it's <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking water like nobody's business. I was starting to sweat. I was doing, I was like, oh my God, this isn't good. And I've done detoxes before. I know when I'm detoxing too quickly. 
And I know that that's really, because basically what happens is that you detox so quickly that the stuff you're just detoxing can get out of your system quickly enough. And then it just goes back in and, and starts moving around. That's my understanding. Um, and so one thing then was that I just had to push the stop button and the Herx button. And uh, not button, but just put this in. And this was very easy to do. And I'm telling you, I put the healing program in. I had four generators at the time. I put the healing program in, probably two of them. I put the Herx program in that was already there. And within an hour, I felt better. Yeah. And this is not what my friend had told me who had first used this machine and successfully used it. I mean, she's clear of Lyme. Mm. But she had to go through the Herx start to finish. And the poor thing, you know, sometimes she was for days and, and I realized I was, I had done too much my body or, I mean, I just, I had chemo years ago, so oh, yeah. it would be surprising if I didn't have to detox. Mm. Um, and so I could just, I could just do that. I could control it. I could turn it off. I could help my body, support my body, look for some other programs. And then when I realized, okay, I'm better now, I could could uh, do the whole program again. I also want to tell you, I was doing this 100% on remote because I was not going to sit here in my little office with 10 pets on me all day. And <laughs> that kind of convinced me, you know, I kind of thought, well, if I, that happens on remote, you know, whatever happens with this little double helix and whatever the remote did to my fingernail at the time, mm. um, it really, really did the job. Yes. And, um, uh, you know, I just I just decided from that moment on to just trust it and see what happens. The remotes for the people that are watching are little devices that you put on. You connect onto your generator and you put your DNA inside this little holder, and you treat your DNA, and right. the information gets sent directly to your body through DNA entanglement or quantum entanglement, I should say, and it's it's magic because. You don't have to sit down holding on to contact cylinders or tens pads. You can just continue your life as if you're not being treated at all. You can go on holiday. You can be treated at the other side of the world. It doesn't make any difference how far away you are. And so it's the freedom that the remote provides, which is quite remarkable. And so, and yeah, you just run the programs on these remotes, and the programs then run on you. So what Ingrid was doing was running the an 11 day program you imagine 11 days sitting inside a room <laughs> dark room oh yeah <laughs> <You're> being, being <laughs> slid under the office, door. you know but you unplug yourself and you pluck yourself back in and you hold the thing and you stop the program and, yeah. and on top of it i mean the other thing is um i i don't only have one generator i'm not running one program i'm running a whole um, a whole set of programs Right now, I actually decided, even though I'm not diagnosed with Lyme, but there's so much good stuff in it. I'm just running the whole Lyme program start to finish, and not just on myself, but also on my husband and my daughter. Um, at the, All of us at the same time, while having healing programs and detox programs running, because we live in New England. You know, I mean, there's Lyme around here everywhere. And, sure. and I, you know, you just... You just don't know. And I tell you some really spooky, <laughs> yeah, no pun intended, but some really weird things happened as I was on this program, you know, stuff I didn't expect. And, and um, yeah, and I just, I just, some of the programs don't hit and some of them just hit you, hit you like, like a two by four. And then all you need to do is stop the program and allow your body to readjust and, and, and detox and, and work with some herxing. And the next thing you know is it's, it's done and and um and that's to me is one of those amazing things that i can uh that i can run programs that are just good for me while i'm at the same time really getting rid of some serious stuff absolutely yeah. most people don't realize that they're carrying unwanted guests in their body a lot of them they don't realize they've they become accustomed to these guests yeah and they don't know the detrimental effects of them they don't feel it because that's yeah. their normal but after you run the terrain protocol they feel so much better when they think back they think gosh i wasn't actually that well at all back then yeah so the very first thing i tell people when they first buy a spooky machine and they ask me what do i do with it you know what program should i choose 
automatic, run the terrain protocol. That's the very first thing because you've got to clear your body out before it can start repairing. You've got to strengthen your immune system, get rid of all the heavy metals, the toxins in your body, clear it out. You don't need it. And then your body yeah. can focus on getting rid of the heavier stuff. Yeah, the absolutely. I, I, I just don't know any other system who does that. You know, and the generator, I think you, you guys are, I don't even know how you do it, but I think you charge $100 for a generator. <laughs> yeah, this is, we, we yeah, that, charge, yeah, there, I, think was, I think it was $118 or something, and then we made another big batch of them. Because it, it sells so well, we upped the size of this batch, this production run, and then our component prices went down because we were buying an extra high volume. So. Yeah, I know what we're going to do. We're going to do what no other business does or any sane business does. We're going to drop the price. We're not going to drop yeah. it. We're not just going to drop it to the, um, to the amount, yeah, the discount, the cheaper price. We actually went a little bit further to get it right down because we wanted, we wanted to get that 100, that nice round 100, not no 99, 99 or any other trick like this. We don't have to play tricks. We just wanted it as cheap as possible. 100 was like a, a, a marker we wanted to reach. And so, yeah, $100 for this one. This generator, we, it's now, this generator is five years old, yeah. It's yeah. one of our, it's a beautiful, beautiful generator, actually, because it goes so fast, it's so accurate. It's very hard to improve. <laughs> We have, yeah. but it's not, not a, the new generator is not $100 though, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, $100 for this and it's metal, it's not plastic. Yeah, yeah. It's, great. it's a beautiful generator that. And it runs all these different things. I mean, I, I'm, I'm using uh, the uh, PMF calls with it. I have two radionics machines, which is also a ridiculous price. And I'm using these all the time. I mean, there's just two of them running, you know, in the background there. Um, yeah, so it looks pretty interesting over there. <laughs> I yeah. just love that. Um, but yeah, it's it's it's, and then you have the audio. Uh, I actually also yeah. use that. You know, you have an audio, so you can actually use frequencies that are good for you and just listen to them. That's right. And for those who are auditory, like myself, I you know I speak a lot and I listen a lot. <laughs> it's just what I do. So. It's, it's a wonderful thing to just choose a frequency that makes me feel good. I actually, I teach three-day workshops, and I now let these frequencies run in the background, and my workshops work so much better because they calm people down, and you can adjust to different things, and people don't really hear them. They won't notice them than hear them, and you notice the difference. Um, I always notice the difference when I switch something off. So it feels like, oh, wait, wait, where, where am I? <laughs> Why am I not here? Um, but because you get so used to feeling higher, feeling on that high level, the collodial silver that you guys build in, you know, that is just such a godsend. And, you know, we use this big batches all over the house all the time. And, um, yeah, all these other things, you, you just wonder how, how is this even possible to, that you – that you put all this together and it's, you know, I don't know anybody who puts a colloidal silver machine out there for 75 bucks. And what you're looking at is literally the silver rod that costs that much and a, and a mixer, the program we don't pay for, you know, and if I want to get a different, a different blender, um, it's not called blender, but we know what it is. The yes, magnetic stirrer. Stirrer, that's right, yes, yes. You know, if I want to go to Amazon, I'm, I'm going to pay that. So mm. thank you for making that available because Colloidal silver is an incredibly wonderful thing to have around the house. Well, it's all, it's all the, our, it's just the focus. Our focus is on people, not on profits. So it's, it's not just a cliche. It's not just a saying. It, it truly is. So if we get an idea, we can make something and it improves people's lives. Well, it's as good as done. We do it. And this is why our range is so broad. We do the colloidal silver, coil, contact, scalar, sound ultrasonic as well what have i missed ultrasonic it? yes yeah. and plasma and the biofeedback and the the biofeedback by itself that is just just you know you you literally i mean it's to think that people would prescribe medication without asking the body first what it actually needs is 
is is in, is a weird idea. It is a weird idea. Now, one of the things that we are we belong we believe strongly in is empowerment. So everything that we make empowers other people and allows them to take control. Of course, they've got to use the equipment, and it's good to learn how to use the equipment properly. But we release a series of videos and teaching people how to do this, and they can learn in their own time. But we're giving the people all the equipment, everything they need to do, all the things they need so they can restore themselves to health. The regular system, of course, is you know, in grid, you feel sick, you go to the doctor, and you go, it's automatic. You sit down, you, you're then not taking, what's the word for it? Responsibility for your own health. You've passed your responsibility to a trained medical professional, and they're usually extremely good at their job for 15 minutes. And then they're on to somebody else. But of course, you've got your body 24 hours a day. And I truly believe in grid that the person who knows most about your body is yourself. You know, every little gurgle that your tummy makes during the day, every, every thoughts in your mind that no one knows. You know, your body is telling you all day how it's feeling, what it likes, what it doesn't like, too hot, too cold. Some food doesn't react well to your body. You might have a partial allergy to some foods. Your body's talking to you all the time. All you've got to do is stop and listen. There's techniques which you've mentioned before, which is like a muscle technique, muscle testing. So... It amplifies what your body's saying. And you've really got to listen to your body. You, I don't think a person, no matter how good they are, within 15 minutes can then pass a judgment, give you the path to good health, and then monitor afterwards what the results are. Because quite often the first... Uh, the first diagnosis isn't quite 100%. You've got to go back. And it's happened so many times as well where you have to go back to a doctor because some, and it is, drugs aren't working properly, so you've got to go back and get new, different drugs. Right. Now, biofeedback is a way where you have got a direct phone line to your body. Right. Your body has suddenly got an amplifier. It can tell you in black and white what it needs. So you run a biofeedback and you get at the end of the biofeedback a report. And the report is what you use in the spooky system. So you run those frequencies that the biofeedback produce. And they really do work. Now in the olden days, well, I shouldn't say the olden days, but we used to have and we still have our spooky pulse. It's a great device because it measures the whole body's response not just a small part of your body. And so it can detect when things are beneficial for your body because your body relaxes, calms down. To buy a biofeedback device before Spooky was in the thousands of dollars, Ingrid, as you probably know, very expensive items. And we wanted to bring that right down. So our biofeedback, I, I don't actually know the price, but it's certainly extremely cheap. It's... I think it's I think it's a hundred and something dollars. Where you know it's, it's it's really cheap. It's as cheap as we can possibly could possibly do it. And we developed the software to work with our biofeedback, and we're always progressing the software each, where each month. We're improving, improving all the time as we listen to to what customers suggest to us. And so we've now got a device where it listens to your body tells you what the body needs, and then you can apply that. And so it's like having a doctor 24 hours a day. Just whenever you need to have a doctor's report, you run the biofeedback. And the generator that we've just made now is this one here. I haven't got many things yeah. by my side, but this is our latest one. This is our Generator X. This has got biofeedback built into it. It's much faster than the other biofeedback. So it's even faster than a 15-minute doctor's appointment, and it's yep. possibly more precise. But it doesn't do a full body one, it does a localized one. So if you've got a, a known problem area, you place your contact pads across that area, and then it gives you a report. 
we've since then developed the biofeedback further and made a digitizer which takes a sample of your saliva or even a blood sample or even a biopsy sample really and you could use that and you run the biofeedback on that little sample so you're not even connected to this device and it's doing a biofeedback on you yeah. and then it gives a report and then that, that report you then run these frequencies and so we're always trying to advance advance push things the envelope all the time we're never going to sit yeah. still we're always going to be moving around trying to find the best <laughs> <laughs> yeah to fix you know, and that problems yeah and, and that is, is just absolutely amazing to me um so because now i can actually do biofeedback on somebody who is not local because you also found out that you can actually use the, the like a fingernail dusting like when you file your fingernails and you can use that to uh, to do biofeedback which basically my understanding is me if i'm wrong but my understanding is that now this is actually more a permanent dna sample whereas the blood or uh, saliva the dna is pretty vulnerable but if we use the fingernail filings then it should be it should last right so somebody oh, could actually put okay. an envelope ship it over <laughs> and then and then we can just put it in and basically leave it in which that is incredibly wonderful to me uh, you know my kids going off to college you know if something's going on i can just scan her <laughs> from here <laughs> i mean that's the idea right that's that's the amazing that's the amazing yeah. thing um, well we're pushing things all the time trying to get the most out of what people already own and for free because the software is free as you know and grip yeah but yeah. the and I, I don't want to burst your bubble, but actually the ear clip for your pulse, if I'm not mistaken, is only six dollars. Um, maybe it's more, but it's not in the hundreds. <laughs> no, so. no, it is. Uh, well, I'm not. I don't do the sales in grid, so I really don't know prices. But everyone that it's, works in the company, everyone that works in with you know in the spooky, they've got the same mindset. It's all full focus to the customers. And yeah. so pricing, they know what the pricing is and everything. Everything's as cheap as possible. The biofeedback side, by the way, Ingrid, we've got the hardware where you can do scanning on the digitizer. We advanced it even further where we can alternate. We can scan on one channel and then apply the program automatically on another. And then you can repeat the exercise if you like. And find out where the bugs are hiding because as everyone knows bugs move so you can chase this bug around there's presets we've created called hunting so cows. just to 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 understand this so you're basically looking for what the frequency that's needed at the moment yes. you immediately apply it kill whatever is there yes um, and then whatever comes out next gets treated as well. I think this is such a, it makes such such sense to me that in this in this field, um, you, in in the vibrational healing field, you always deal with the top layers. So you don't go to the bottom of something before the other layers are taken care of because if you did that, then everything would just explode on you. It's, it's that's right. So. Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely fascinating. So eventually you just kind of crisscross until the whole thing is gone and you don't have to be there. Um, no. Or yeah. you can run overnight contact treatments if you like to do contact treatments. You can, some people like to feel electricity passing through their body because they get, they then know that the frequencies are passing through. They, they feel yeah. reassured. And so you can run overnight treatments and you can run the overnight treatment without having to choose or oh, run this program or to run this program you set it to automatically scan and run scan and run so for a course of a night you could run eight or ten biofeedback sessions automatically and run the results automatically so it's a bit of a no-brainer yeah right and so i have a question for that um so with the old remotes <laughs> old sounds, you know, it was a year ago. How old can they be, right? But um, 
it was said that there is a ratio of one to 20 in time. So if you have an hour of contact, it would probably take about 20 hours of remote to make the same. But with the new remotes, you don't, we don't really say this anymore, right? So where are you at with that? Well, the old remotes used to be about one twentieth as powerful, if you like, as contact mode, which is pretty good for remote mode type devices, but we wanted to do it the best we could. And so we started to re-evaluate. We recruited experts around the world who are frequency sensitive. And we did a lot of research and tests and more tests, trials, and then more tests. And we ended up with the, the remote that we have now, which is on par with contact mode, which means that if you run a program for one hour using hand cylinders or TENS pads, you just need to run it for one hour using this remote. It's on par with contact mode. And I... That's a big deal. I think I think it's probably as good as we're going to get it. It's it is quite impressive, very impressive, because it means now you can run longer programs. You don't need to have so many repeats in programs. Of course, you can if you want to, because you don't have to hang around while you're waiting for the program to finish. You can just turn it on and walk away. It's, it's such a brilliant idea when you think about it, Ingrid. You run a pro, you select the programs in the morning, feeling a bit groggy. I'll get some programs for detox run them during the day and then at lunchtime you think, gosh, I'm actually feeling pretty bright and cheerful and energetic. That's right, I'm running that program. <laughs> and you can look at your watch, oh, that would be kicking, oh, I can feel that kicking in now. <laughs> it's yep. so good. Yeah. And what's sad though is that not enough people know about it. Yeah. You know, so we need to get the word out. We need people like that woman that introduced you to Spooky, so, you know, that, well, I mean, first of all, I think people need to know that vibrational healing is is actually the mo the the most solid way of of getting help. You know, because we're getting we all know that illness is introduced by stress. You know, what is stress? Stress isn't a physical thing, but it can open up our entire body to all sorts mm -hmm. of all sorts of illnesses and now it's in the body. So we can't think our way out of it. We got to figure out if it gets in on a vibrational level, then it should probably also get out of the vibration level. And, um, you know, I'm not here, I'm not uh, arguing with the medical field. That's not my place to be. They have their research and it works. And, you know, if it works, that's awesome. And that's great. And I, I do my, my share of what I think is the right thing to do. Um, I just think it's one piece of it and it's not everything of it because basically what the medical field doesn't know is how to heal the body. And it, so, um, so you have, for example, a, a person with cancer is usually very healthy. That's why they don't find it. Right. So you have a healthy body and you have a cancer tumor. So after the, the traditional treatment, you have a sick body and no cancer tumor. Right, you kind of just, and of course that that prolongs longevity, but it doesn't make you healthy. And the doctors, the medical field, does not focus on how to improve health. They just focus on how to get rid of very very specific things. And in a way, there it's a fire hosing effect. And clearly, when the fire is burning, you know, bring the hose on. Right? And but, you're stealing my analogies. I was going to say how the doctors are basically firemen, but you've taken that one. So, but they're the right. people. If you break a bone or have something very, very sudden, I guess, an, an emergency like a fire, but you've taken that, so I've got to choose something else now. Gosh, what am I going to do? Then you That's go. A good one. Then you go. It is a great one. So I'll just, I'll just steal it from you. Then you go see a doctor, but for things which are progressive. You can quite often nip in the bud, or if it's too late for you know to get it at the early stages, you can still attack it at, at the other levels and bring it down, down, down to resolve the problem. And so you are right. And I think you have a really good point there because um, illness. I mean, yeah, if you fall on the stairs or you're stupid skiing, whatever. Yeah, things happen can happen very quickly, but most things really build up. And just like we said, you take the outer levels off first and then you kind of get to the core. There's, there's a pathway to ill health. And 
in, in the country I live in right now, in when many Western countries, um, painkillers are the way to treat illness. If you hurt and take a painkiller, so you don't feel it, which basically means that people never realize that it's time to take care of their health. And the way they think they need to take care of their health is go to the gym, eat healthy food, drink your water, and take a pain. I mean, seriously. Uh, and, and that's just not how that works. So most people don't go to the gym. And in, in a way, it's even crazy to go to the gym because there's a life without a gym, right? A gym is kind of what you need to do if you never move around. <laughs> so even that is, is a treatment instead of a lifestyle. Um, and so what you're doing is you, you have, what, 34,000 programs in Spooky 2 right now? There's 40, over 41,000 programs. So there's something, something for everyone, enough to go including around. Including the animals. Yes, we include animals, we include plants. And so, yes, animals have got little souls as well, so we look after them. Oh. And plants as well. We put plant diseases, you can put a diseased leaf inside Spooky Remote and treat that plant and other plants which have got the same I have disease. My, I didn't even know this. My, oh, my so have tomatoes, I have a, an organic garden oh. and they are getting blight and oh. I'm getting mad at the blight. Yes. So I'm going to go get a, get a leaf, put it in the remote and then yes. get rid of the blight. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> that is very exciting. That is so, so needed because, well, I mean, it sounds silly. Yeah, it's a tomato plant, but I'm talking more pesticides right now. Yes. You know, I mean, uh, we need healthy food and we need it fast. And you get it while you spray poisons on your crop. Yeah. By the time you, it gets to your mouth, it has everything under the sun on it. And it's, it's gross. And again, the, the fire hosing effect is kind of in order to prevent something, you just treat everything you're going to be eating with the same kind of chemical in a dosage that is not targeted. And, I, what I like so much about this kind of work is that I can wonder how do I feel right now and what, where, what else, what other part of it is in there and then do the biofeedback, which literally takes six, six minutes. So I have this all set up here and I just put it on in the morning and just wonder what I need and put it in my generator and don't have to worry about it. Um, but it's, it's really targeted. And sometimes we think it's A and it's actually B. And how are we ever going to know that? How are we going to know that the back pain is not, is not, you know, from the bones? It may be from a parasite. Exactly. And, and you said this before, people don't know what they have around them, but we all deworm our cats, right? <laughs> and, and our dogs and our animals. And we, you know, we, we do all these things, but when it comes to a human being, we think that they must have done something wrong or else... Mm. stuff would never happen and it's just not true well there's some things that pets do that humans don't do <laughs> but, it's, but it's a fair point that is right and it's also quite remarkable how the same deworming medication for animals same compound costs well over 10 times more for humans for a smaller dose, it's, just, it's like to, oh, I don't know, it's, it's business again, isn't it? And it's actually one thing which people sometimes, when, when people make a decision, right, we're going to get a rife machine, what, which rife machine do I choose? Because there's so many on the market. What people think quite often is, well, I can afford this much. And then they look at that level because I think if they're paying that much, they're getting a better product. So if they're paying $10,000, they say to themselves, well, okay, I'll forfeit a holiday because my health is more important than a holiday. I'm feeling really bad. I'll get the top of the line $10,000 machine. It doesn't necessarily mean, and it almost certainly doesn't mean, <laughs> that you're getting the best machine. The equipment... What, what, what is that? Well, it's a combination of factors, Ingrid. Part of it is the focus on the company that's made the machine. Maybe they're selling the machine through affiliated companies who take their 100% plus margin. And so a machine that they're paying $10,000 could have been bought from the manufacturer or their direct outlet for $5,000 or even $4,000. That's part of the reason. Another part of the reason is 
profit margins. It's, it's just business. It's not bad. It's just the way that they run their business. They decide, well, we're going to have a profit margin of so much percent because we've got to allow for development and research, which is very expensive. Mm-hmm. Some of our products cost a huge amount to bring out. But the thing is, if they sell things expensive, then the volumes aren't so high. So it's like a little circle of feedback. But if they get the price down, then they go to high volumes and more people benefit. That's what we tend to do. Well, it's what we do. We try and sell things as, as cheaply as possible. Not because we are Walmart. We're not Walmart. We make machines which other manufacturers can't make. They haven't got the expertise. They haven't got the skills levels. And they haven't got the ideas. So the Spooky2.com support website. Spooky2support.com. Yeah, Spooky2support.com. And this is the links that we've gone to support people because we want to make things as simple as possible. It's not just about yeah. sales. It's, it's about making people healthy. And right. that can only be done with people becoming empowered. So that's part of that. But just talking about people when they buy their $100 generator and that's – and, and, the, and the remote that goes on there and the boost. It's, a, it's like a foot in the door. So you don't need to commit too much money to have a spooky treatment device. And people do this. They can buy one generator and that's the minimum required for running their system. We should have called it spooky logo, uh, Lego because then you can add on other generators and, and daisy chain them together onto your system. And so you can end up with quite a complete, huge system with starting off with, with just small. And so if you've got any sort of doubts as to whether the system works, you can start with a minimum outlay. There he is. There I am. All right. Now, what, so- what part did we get up to? A spooky to we'll try that word one more time. The website which we set up was spooky2support.com, which... There's a website with all the questions you could ever think of, plus more, into one website. And you can do a search, a Google search, using normal English terms and get returning back normal English answers. <laughs> so that's a good place for, for new people to ask their questions. Because you're right, Ingrid, many, many people don't know terms that may be used or the best way to do things right and so that's the first I, thing i just felt stupid and i felt oh. embarrassed i wasn't embarrassed to admit it i was just embarrassed to have all these different questions and i remember going to the facebook group and just explaining and apologizing i'm new at this and and you know i see everybody else doing this now too you know i'm so sorry i don't have any idea and um and then I realized that you can just use the search function and yes. put the question in and you probably yes. get a good answer there already. So you don't have to um, basically where are the volunteer volunteer people um, <laughs> thin by saying the same thing over and over. Uh, and it's not just to not wear them thin, but also to really realize, look, this is a learning curve. And I was just thinking, um, you know, maybe maybe it's a good idea to take little segments of the things that we actually absolutely must learn and just discuss them, you know, in a format like this. Um, and, and so that there is an interaction there and what we, you know, we can make sure that what's being said is been heard and the, those questions are answered. Um, and then just, you know, maybe make a video out of this or make an interview out of this. If that, if that was helpful, I'd certainly be happy to do that because it is so hard, especially when, when you feel like a technology in the beginning brings an extra problem, not immediately a solution. Popping a pill is easy. You know, it's not, it's not hard to learn, but taking care of your own health and learning how to connect cables um, before it becomes a sexy thing. It's a very confusing (laughs) I mean, at some point, it's actually really cool. You know, when, when I when I scan my husband, for example, you know, and I'm just putting the tense pads and I put the cable in and the thing goes Very out. Very impressive, and then it yes. goes on And he just sits there and has no clue of what I'm doing. And then I'm 
bring back the biofeedback and it's you know eventually it's just it's just cool and it's fun and it's 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 fun to learn more but then you know you come out with scalar and you start again from the ground zero and say what in, what in the world is this and why didn't i know about it um but it is an exciting world and we are vibrational beings we are we all know that we resonate with each other we, we say this we have good energy you know i have great energy today or this room feels great what are we talking about this is not factual hard hard stuff this is this is all frequency this is all vibration this is all resonance and and you've discovered ways of bringing that resonance straight into our dna and helping helping our maybe even helping our dna remember what it is and remembering how i, I don't know if that's the right way maybe it's the wrong way to say that but to to just bring back that which we lost in the process of stress and lost in the process of grief or or physical impact or chemical impact or whatever else might be out there um emf rays i mean there's just so much weird stuff out there mm -hmm. that that we're exposed to and um we now have an opportunity to take it piece by piece and put it back in together and make decisions along the way how we want to live and how we want our environment to be and i am extremely excited to um to try out a scalar on a on a you know on a bigger level i just want to see what the house looks like or yeah. feels like and um you know just getting rid of getting rid of all the stuff that we shouldn't have to deal with and mm -hmm. work on um yeah, you know, work on a on a world that we really need to actively work on right now because we're wearing it thin. We're, we're you know, one of, one of the things that I'm just so when you when you when you know about it, you read this everywhere. Our medication, our medical system, um, is really has even though it's so highly developed, it's also kind of it seems like it's pushing itself over the edge. My medication is not working. Antibiotics not working anymore. Um, not having the resources, prices going up so high, and you know, just not having a distrib uh, distribution uh, uh, pathways into where these illnesses break out. All the mm -hmm. refugees that we're having in countries that we sometimes can't even get to, mm -hmm. and how are we going to help them? What are we going to do? How is this going to work? And I don't see any other way than this kind of healing to actually be able to to get in there and do do something good and um i i don't i don't know how else how else we could we could make that difference and very often people in in poorer cultures they of, also have a much better understanding of of their own vibrational field and of their own health and they accept this much easier than we do with our western medicine trained belief that everything deserves either a pill or to cut into your body. <laughs> uh, so we have our work cut out for ourselves and uh, it's, it's about time. It's, it's, a, we're just there. Well, we think so too. It is time for people to take control over their own health and find solutions to an issue that they may have been battling for a long time. There's no reason to suffer. There are answers yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. And so Spooky is providing a, a way you can, you can do it with one generator possibly to, you know, if you're not sure whether Spooky is the way to go, you can just buy one generator, one boost, one remote. That's the absolute minimum. Then you yeah. can see the positive, and then you can build the Lego on top of that until you end up with a large system like... Oh, yeah. I wanted to give a really cool example the other day that uh, that is something that has been bothering me. So I had a pinched nerve in my neck. Yes. And anybody who ever had a pinched nerve, that's all you think about, right? <laughs> you wake up, you think about it <laughs> all day. Like, and this thing had been bothering me forever. And I don't know why I wasn't thinking about using this. Um, but it's one of those things where your brain just kind of makes a quantum leap because you think, no, 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 pinch nerve is physical. And the reason I know this is because I remember when it happened. I turned my head and I just knew it, right? And it's just this, and you just know something happened. I went to the chiropractor more than once and it just kept coming back and kept coming back and kept coming back. And I just, 
you know, for some reason I thought, well, this is so physical um, and it is, you know, it's not a virus or a, some pathogen. And I put the tens pets on there and within 10 minutes that pinch nerve was gone, the pain was gone and I'm clearly moving around and it's, it's just over um, after weeks of having this. Um, there is something so profoundly deep about this that I'm still just scratching the surface and I know that you are very deep into it, but just to, to make this clear that this isn't just, you know, like a, a fist on, on a thing and pounding pathogens. There is something that happens on such a deeper level um, that is an incredible opportunity to really take over and decide who we want to be. And um, I, I, I also, you know, in my household, we use it for manifesting on a daily basis. If we want something, we just, have you manifested it? Have you written it down? <laughs> okay, you write this down, we put it on the thing and give it 24 hours and we get there. We have manifested, John, I kid you not, we've manifested the craziest stuff, right? We're now at a level in my family where we just say what we want and we know we will get it. We also know how to phrase it correctly. Um, and, you know, kudos to you for making the connection again with somebody in the team who does the radionics. Um, because it is, it is another missing piece. How do you put your willpower and your desires and your dreams into the correct form so that you phrase it in a way that you actually do good for everybody involved? And then find the right frequencies and modulate it in the right way. And then just expect for it to happen. And boom, the next thing you know is you get the email, you get the phone call, you know, things happen. I know that radionics is, an, is, is, a, is not a part of what Spooky2 itself does. It just provides the support for it in the generator part of you. But I think it's a wonderful thing to to have it as part of the toolbox. So for whatever that's worth but <laughs> because we're, we're so used to being told that that there's only one answer to a problem and it's just not so no that's right actually we haven't mentioned cold laser have we that's a device that you just turn on and you just put it on your ear or anywhere or near a blood vessel even on your wrist we've got a wrist attachment that's a device which doesn't need any computer or any programming or anything it hasn't even got an on off button has it? No, it just, just goes. <laughs> it, it just goes. It just, it, yeah, the, the, you just plug it in your nose and it clears up your sinuses. Absolutely. You know? so, or you put it in your ears and it clocks, it clears all this up. Um, it does, yeah, it cleanses out your lymph. You just, you just wear it and it cleanses out your lymph. It's, it, it, it's, it's, sometimes it's almost scary to think with all the possibilities, you know, how are people ever going to, People who are trained to think in such small margins, how are they ever going to believe that <laughs> that that's possible? So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's quite amazing, and I just I just want to thank you for doing all this and making it possible, and the generosity, and um, you know, I <laughs> I remember Echo saying, you know, we don't really charge for development, and I thought they don't church at all for development you know john so thank you for that to you and the team i know that if we were to pay for the thousands of hours that you probably put into this and the expertise um then this would not be possible so uh we basically just pay for the hardware yeah. and everything else is, is your brain and generosity and I hope you find a way to live over there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's where where others really, where they just see the money should come in from. So thank you for doing all that. And, um, yeah, I just always feel very privileged and, and grateful every time, you know, that I have an opportunity to talk to you. And, and every time I go to the Facebook group, it's a happy place. Um, it's weird how a place that is filled with 13,000 sick people can be a happy place. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. But, but it happens, but yeah. it actually is, you know. Yeah. I mean, every single post you read, you just think, ah, good. Yeah, thank you. And I learned something. And that's how that works. And what a nice thing yeah. to say. Yeah. Um, 
So something is happening, and I believe this is not just a technology or a healing device, it's also a movement um, that is empowering people to step into who they want to be, and um, and they have this, so it's amazing. Well, there will be a change, it will be in their lifetime, a positive change to yes. people's health, people's lives. And so for us to be part of that makes us feel so honored and privileged. Like we we started it, but we're just a small part of it now. <laughs> All the thousands of people are a greater part of Spooky. And so we're privileged to have them yeah. and their support. So thank you. Well, yeah, I just I just want to thank you for for the time and and I hope that the people who who are uh, listening to this technology flanks or not uh, that's a part of it um, but that they that they have the courage to also just go on a journey and to make a decision to just say look I better get I better get going and figure this out for myself you know I better I better stop having opinions that I can't can't even afford to have because I don't have the background to counter anything in them here. I better just get started and find this out and, and, and learn about this and see what it can do for me and to not be angry when I don't get it right away and to not be overwhelmed when brain fog takes over, but to say, well, wait a minute, this is brain fog. What do I do? Oh, there's a program for brain fog. I wonder if that works for me. <laughs> what do I have to do? And then, and then just going. And just having that courage to say, you know, maybe I have always been the master of my life. Mm-hmm. And um, maybe I have the power to, to do what I want to do with my life and to reach the goals I want to reach and to reach the people I want to connect with and to do all these wonderful things that I, when I was younger, I always thought I could do. And then at some point, I just, got, just gave up on that. And I think we're back to a point where people realize, no, no, there's, that dream is not, has never been a dream. The dream has just always been me. Mm. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to be myself. Sure. And I'm sure. going to be well and healthy. So thank you for making this available. And uh, I hope and trust that we have many more conversations like this. I'm sure and we will. I'm sure we will. That they're going to help a lot more people. <laughs> thank oh, thank you. you. Thank you, Ingrid. All the best. Okay, all Very the best to you too. Okay. So, blessings to you and I. we talk again. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, that's that. Thanks, Ingrid. I think well, we covered everything in a roundabout way. <laughs> we scratched everything. Everything, <laughs> you know, I was just, and then keep the recording running. Um, you know, that's something I just noticed is, um, I think every no matter where you focus on this it's just such a wealth of of information and also um it always we somehow we always scratch the surface of the next step that we need to get to and and i wonder um what we could do to uh i need to think about this to, to take one aspect of it and 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 just come from every angle but i know that's not possible because there's so much there's so much you know that it makes no sense to explain to people including myself right um but at the same time i i wonder something that works really well for me are are things like the image of the fire hose that you mentioned you know i probably stole this from you by the way not the other way around (laughs) um but uh you know just just coming up with with metaphors or images that are, even though it's, they are images or metaphors, but they are kind of correct in their own way so that people can have a memory hook that they can say, Oh, I get it. It's like, you know, it's a, it's, it's even more bridges that they, that they find it easier to, to get started. Do you think we're all set? I don't know. I just, maybe I'm just, I'm not sure. Ingrid. I, I really not sure on the, and so I had to get more people aware of Spooky. I just hope that people don't listen too much to the other manufacturers when they talk about us, <laughs> because obviously they love us to pieces. <laughs> they what love they the say? way. Yeah. yeah I mean, I just, heard this, I just heard this from Echo because I was, I was 
was researching um, Rife in Germany, and I was thrilled that somebody in Cologne, which is my hometown. Yes. And she said, no, no, you don't understand. <laughs> yes, he's one so of our fans. What's what's the deal with them? Oh, he he's very anti-spooky, extremely anti-spooky, but he has his own equipment. And so it's a business thing. He just doesn't like to see his markets, uh, his market share shrinking, I suppose, with people as they become more aware that there's a better product at a reduced price. <laughs> yeah. But it needn't, we're not doing what we're doing to compete. We're not thinking at all about other manufacturers, but I just hope that people, other people don't get swayed by the false information which is out there. Because there is a lot. People saying that we don't do this and that, it's bad. It's bad, bad advice from people, from the other manufacturers. Yeah, I noticed, I noticed there's a big forum online um, from a different manufacturer and they basically just said, we don't discuss Spoopy here. We only discuss our... Well, what you, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's, if it's their forum, there's nothing sure, wrong with it. But, sure. Yeah, well, it, it is fine, but some places they actively target Spooky and say Spooky is this and that. And when I read through it, it breaks my heart because I know the truth, but the people who read it won't. And they'll think, gosh, I'll be pleased. I, I'm pleased I found this out before I got a Spooky accessory. They just don't know. And they're, they're people that are quite often swayed by. And they're, they're very official-looking websites as well. Um, I can't say their names, but you know them. They're you know, other mm. Rife tube manufacturers and Rife machine general manufacturers, even Pulse CMF manufacturers that are, attack, uh, are targeting Spooky, if you like. And I just hope that the consumers can see it for what it is, which is a business decision. So it's nothing personal, but they're taking our profits, and so we want to we want to put them down so people start buying our product again. But you know, we don't compete with other manufacturers. The only mm. thing we're competing against is illnesses. That's what our mm. that's what we're competing against. Mm. So they're other they're they're competing against us because it's a business, and they want to keep in business. They don't want to lose their profits they don't want to disappoint their shareholders or their own the owners of the company well i mean we can say in a bigger world uh i've seen this with the eft folks you know at the end of the day when people i much rather have people use a system that is substandard than not using anything at all and if they get, come to rifing and it does something for them I am happy. You know, would it be, do I want everybody to have the best? Yes, I do. But if they can't figure that out, at least they get something. Sure. And they get, like my friend, you know, I mean, yeah, she invested a huge amount of money, but she's, can't, she's, she's land free. This thing worked for her and she was holding the things forever and she was going through every Herx reaction under the sun. Um, but she is thrilled. You know, so I'm not going to argue with her. I'm, and, and I learned this from my own field as well. You know, I, I believe that this technique is, is the coolest and fastest and best thing ever. But so do, you know, other people get results. And, and anybody who has access to something is, is a lucky person because they're not popping medication and doing weird things when they actually just have to work through what happened in, in, in this kind of way. So, um, yeah, so in a way, we're all we're all working on the same on the same level. I know that some of these some of these uh, 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 companies, this specific specific one, um, they have a huge overhead, just absolutely enormous overhead. Everybody who buys a machine gets customer service, gets this rep for a year, and the person needs to get paid, and the person basically gets the the majority of what they paid for the machine and then they have to renew and then you know it's but that's how that works for them i don't know if i'm making sense it's it's getting <laughs> late over here oh kind of, sorry oh, no, well, thank no, you no, 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 it's not that late it's not Pardon. that late 
Um, you know, I, it's just, maybe it's just my German brain. Um, I always think my, my way, the way Germans think, I, I guess, is that when we really care, we always try to improve something. That's just the way that uh, my brain always works. Like what else can we do to make something even better? And if I didn't do that, it would basically be a sign of not caring. So if I come up with ideas or think something out loud, it's not because I don't think it's good enough. It's just because, um, you know, I just always want to support and help and find other ways of doing that. So I hope you read this in the right way. Oh, Americans well, are not like that. Americans say it's unsolicited advice and I didn't ask for this. And I think, <laughs> but you would be doing so much better. Oh, but I didn't ask for it. So, and you know, and, and so I just <laughs> learned to mention that, um, that I just do that. So that's good. Oh, there's a very positive trait. I would have thought very positive trait. Well, not in America, where every man is for themselves, you know, <laughs> and you don't help anybody unless they ask you. Really? It's kind of, yeah, it's weird. It's just, I don't know, you know, you, you gotta, I, you know, it breaks my heart. I have friends who know what I do, and I've told them about Spooky, mm. and they post, and, and, you know, they know what I do. I have a friend right now who's dying from cancer and she contacts me and says, have you heard about this and that technique for emotional eating, which she wants to do? And I said, no, I don't. I mean, I'm hearing around, but I've never heard of it. And I said, well, you know what I do and I'm happy to work with you. And she says, yeah, I, I know about that too, but that's just not what I want to do. And I said, okay, step back. Mm -hmm. Asked her two months later, hadn't found anyone in what she was particularly looking for, stopped looking. You know, how can people stop looking? How can people not just jump on something that's in front of them because they think they need to get something completely different? And that's what I was me thinking, you know, just think bigger. Take what's in front of you. Use it. Put it to use. I, I, a friend of mine, her daughter is suffering from Lyme so badly. And she had access to this other machine that my friend is using. And I mean, I can, if we turn up the recording, I mean, you can probably, you probably know what that, what they are, right? The GB. Mm, mm, yeah. The kid was, went on massive herxing, massive. She just got so bad. And of course my friend is like, Oh my God, she's getting worse. And, and that's how I actually learned about herxing. I didn't even know mm, what that was. Mm, mm. And she posted on Facebook. It's so hard to get help and people don't understand what we're going through and this and that and the other. And, you know, people never understand what it's like for somebody to deal with this. And I responded and I said, look, I don't, you don't need to buy anything. You're welcome to just come home. I mean, I'm legally not allowed to treat anybody, but here's a manual. I can help you read and learn it. And, you know, there are 13 generators waiting for you. Just sit her down. Try this out. She doesn't have to hurt. She doesn't have to do these things. And she texts it back, thank you. You know, there's a kid right now. She's 16 years old. Her life is going to shicks because she can't even go to school on a regular basis. And the mom has the guts to say thank you. I mean, what, what do you have to do, right? What else do you have to do than, than saying, look, it's all yours. And it, it, it's crazy. It's it's It's... I, you know, I just want to slap them right left and right. And of course, I'm not allowed to do that. But just wake up and take some. So she didn't actually take guts. you up on your offer. Did she not take you up on the offer? Gosh. No. Oh, no, thank you is what she said. Thank no. you. As in, that's very kind to offer. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot to say, yes, in America, that's what they do. They say, thank you very much if they mean no. Oh. They will say, well, I will let you know. They will say, that's a great idea. They will not, so many for the life of them, will not try something new. She asked me, oh, is this hard to learn? And I said, well, it's a little bit of a learning curve. But hey, her kid has been dealing with Lyme forever. That's a learning curve, right? Oh, I know, I know. No, you don't. If you knew, we wouldn't have this conversation. And they just don't get it. You know, it's it's... It drives me insane. And I, at some point, I mean, it's not, 
it's not the people that are offering that are making the mistake. I think, and, and what is, maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe it's just where she needs to be, as they say in my field. But um, I mean, we can't be responsible for everybody. We can't be responsible for their choices. We can only be responsible to do our best when they choose to work with us. But it's just... It is very soul-destroying to have, to see this happening where people just don't take the lifeline that's being offered. Yeah, for their kid. You know, for their kid. That's just the thing. You know, uh, they, there's, they just... They just need to be dependent on someone or something. And they put and on the Facebook that no one is there for them. <laughs> they put it on the Facebook. That's why I went so clearly back on the Facebook, not in a private message, but on the Facebook saying, look, you know, this is, and, and you know, the kid has worked with me and with the, with the stuff that I do. Mm. And, and I have shared with her that I had phenomenal results with this and, you would think they pick you up. <laughs> you would, you know, I've told people, look, there's a manual. There is a doubt. You can play with the software without a damn generator. Just play with the software. Just take a look. Just pretend you have one. Yeah. Yeah. Have they ever done it? No. Nope. Never asked for the link. I'm convinced there's something they put in the water. <laughs> they put in the water? I'm sure of it. There's got to be something that stops people from doing things on their own for themselves. There's got yeah. to be something in the water, I'm sure of it. Well, it's not the water. It's actually something they do very early on in school. <clears throat> and I, what I noticed is, um, well, there's a couple of things. But what I noticed is they provide so much information that is just to be learned and, and given back that people are here, and I don't know if that's the same in other places but people here always feel behind they always feel behind something and you probably notice that that they people it's it's a it's a it's a it's the right thing to say here is i'm busy you gotta be busy which means you're behind you're striving you're struggling to do something how are you oh it's crazy oh it's busy i'm busy <laughs> it's crazy. you're supposed to tell people that and that means that you're never have the right to just do what you want to do because you are behind on something. There's an overload of information. The kids are being put under phenomenal amounts of pressure. And on top of that, they, they add, they add sports into their daily life in a, on a level that it takes three to four hours out of their day. So you have kids that grow up with high expectations on a physical level and the physical level means that they need to, they expect it to beat up their bodies, right? The injuries you see in 10-year-olds are outrageous. There are 16-year-olds that have a meniscus replacement, you know, because they were pushing so hard. They have concussions. They have broken bones. So they bring them into their physical body. They make these kids physically compete. And competing in these kind of sports that they do in, sp in school is always about being better. It is never about participating. It is always about beating a team. Every single sport they do is a team sport. And it's not cool. And it usually involves a ball, right? Any kind of thing with a ball. So they're playing hockey and soccer and football and banging into each other and, and softball and baseball and who knows what kind of a ball. But it's always about competing, competing about a team. And then the, the best kids in those teams are being picked for the game. So they're kids that are actually participating in sports. They get to all, of, all the things, but because they're not good enough, they end up in the dugout. They never get to play. Right. And so they have this mindset. They have physical injuries. They bring them into their physical body. And then all they have time for is homework. So they go home. They, they gobble down dinner in the car. They literally eat in the car. Then they go home and they do the homework, you know, little, little eight, 10, 12 year olds until 10, 11 o'clock at night. Right. Then they just do whatever they ask to do. They go to school tired Then they go out in the field. They hang with their friends. The only way to have ha hang with their friends is to do the sports in the afternoon because they're expected to do it. Nobody just hangs out. And that's where their brains go. Right. And on top of that, they, they are sitting with, you know, iPhones and who knows what. 
and they constantly get more information in. And that's how they are being processed. So they never have a debate. They never debate. They never sit down and have a discussion about something that isn't school or sports related. Mm. You know, and that's what they do. And I don't know if that's if they do this in China in this way or if they do this in, in New Zealand or Australia in this way. But over here, I've been watching this and I've been carving out time for my daughter to find ways that she doesn't do that. And she didn't always like it. But, you know, she's still reading books. She's the only one who agreed to still reading books. They all just gave up around the time they were introduced to a phone. That was the end of reading. And so I think that's where this comes from. And now they believe that every question has to have one answer. And it's the answer they were given because the teacher gave them a book. Here's what you need. Here's the question. Here's the answer. The two of them go together and that's what the world looks like. That's the world we live in, you know, and with this kind of work that we're doing here, we're asked, we're expecting them to break that mold. They've never broken a mold. They don't know what that's like. You know, they follow they follow pathways that, that lead them into debt. Uh, when they're, you know, when they're, when they're 18 years old, they make the decisions for the next 20 years of their life because they have to pay back student loans. Because they're told when they enter elementary school that if they're not good students, they're not going to get into a good college. Whatever a good college is, right? And, and, and the college is here $60,000 a year. Imagine you pay $10,000, $1,000 a month. You'll be, still be paying for 20 years. That's how they live. And the, college, and the college teaches you how to be a good employee so you can make yeah. someone else money. The college is, is geared towards, is, is only geared towards you getting a job, mm. right? It's, 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 the college system is still geared towards being a worker. It is not. And then, of course, they have, you know, the, the, the free, edu the, the general ed and then the other, you know, uh, uh, um, liberal arts. But they still don't teach people how to, how to take charge of their life, Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's and, and, yeah. and that's, that's, that's why, why was having these debates because people aren't looking, right? It's not because they can't find, it's because they don't look. You know, that's why people go back to Facebook over and over and over asking questions that if they were looking, they would Google. But they're not looking, they're just confused, right? And how do you... How do you bring a new concept to somebody who is not looking for a new concept? If it's called unsolicited information, if it's called, oh, that's interesting, right? Oh, really? Well, I wonder, yeah, you know, because it doesn't fit mm -hmm. into, in, into a brain that's not an inquisitive mind. And that's really, that's, that's really what this is. They are constantly comparing something to, they hear to something they already know. And so whatever they're hearing here is falling short. That's why I was saying, you know, building bridges is so important for them, even if they're not scientifically accurate. But at least they can do something with the information because they don't know where to look, mm. right? I, I posted something on, in a Facebook group the other day. It's a while ago now, by, about a couple of weeks, um, about the reverse lookup with the biofeedback. Yes. You know, because, because people were getting so confused. And I kind of compared it to imagine a frequency was a symptom because they know what a symptom is, right? It's a headache. So reverse lookup brings up anything from a hangover to a brain tumor, right? Okay. <laughs> because you have a headache. So what other headaches, what can produce headaches? So reverse lookup says, well, you may, maybe you went out, to, <laughs> you went to town, maybe you have a brain tumor, <laughs> maybe you banged your head against the door. Um, mm. All of that is accurate, but not all of that happened to you. Right, so it's not that you may not find one cause in there, but it may also be that something happened to you that you don't know exists, right? Um, and then it may not even be in there. So that kind of metaphor, actually, even though it's it's not a symptom, it's something else. But it kind of started to sink in, and they kind of started to realize that. And I was wondering if we can find more ways of, if I don't even know if it's necessary, but find more ways of explaining these really complex mm. concepts in a dumbed down way like that. I don't know. Well, I think I'm there's thinking. a lot of merit in that, in that thought. 
even for people to grasp concepts, they can always learn more later, but the very beginning, it is important. So analogies or examples are important. Yeah. Even, even if they're not scientifically precise. Like I, I've done this with phase angle. <laughs> trying I to, saw that, yeah. Yeah. And it's and, so far from so far from the precise description. But people get it. And so yeah. That's all you need because at the end of the day, well, they don't have to know how it works. They just have to know that it works and then put it to work. It's yeah. a scary world we live in though. It's a very brainwashed world. Mm. And um, I guess that's what we're up against. It's not that people are Ill, Ill meaning or not willing or whatever. It's they just don't learn how to think. They don't that it's not desired that they question things. It's not desired that they that they look things up. It's 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 just not how that works. People are being kept busy, and that's that's what we're up against. And um, I don't know how you come to that. And how have you been busy? <laughs> no, I have not. I have not. No. Look, I, oh, great. I well, I mean, I've been. You know, I, I think about things differently. Um, I mean, as soon as Leah is in school in Heidelberg, I know that I have 100% brain capacity to focus on what I want to do with my own life and my own work. Um, but I, I'm, I'm a laser focuser, John. I focus on, I, I'm a big fat manifester, right? I mean, I just focus one and I can guarantee you I get it but you can't chase two bunnies right and it's just it's just hard for me to focus everything I've got on on helping Leah live her life and set herself up because once she's over there this kid is ready to live her own life she does not need me to breathe down, breathe down her neck so I'm wondering you know what did I miss is there anything else getting the flight to all these different things and then just being a mom that's important right now Right to just really finish this up and be there for her, who she needs me to be, mm -hmm. um, and not constantly being sidetracked in in a gazillion directions. She's going to be home for another six weeks. This is my job right now, right? And and to make sure that we ticked all the boxes and and she, without even asking, she just drizzled down her fingernails today on a piece of paper or yesterday on a piece of paper with a date on it. <laughs> Oh, she's got it, right? Mom is doing this. And yes, you will give me your DNA. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I, I finally had my CT scan and that came back clear, basically. Um, so that's a wonderful thing. I haven't had that feeling in a long time. Okay. Um, I just didn't want a CT scan because I knew I was doing this and I couldn't feel any more tumors. I had, you know, I could feel them before. I couldn't feel them anymore. Mm. And I just didn't need any anything else other than that. Um, but now, you know, when, when I have my own, uh, my, my mind for myself and I start my own thing up again, um, I'm very curious to see. I will be speaking a lot. I know that. I, you know, speaking as it's obvious, it's just what I do. Um, it's well, how I channel too. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what I know unless I said it. I don't, that's how I process. It just comes out and I think, oh, that, that sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes it doesn't <laughs> often it doesn't but sometimes it does um, so I want to get out I want to be a speaker uh, more than I am and I already am uh, and you know really helping people live live a life where they can where they can feel free where they can feel uh, inquisitive and curious and make choices and for me it's all about making choices I don't care what choices make people make as long as they make some Mm. Um, as long as they don't follow a pattern and you know what you have created here um, it just makes me smile you know because people can choose they can do things they can say hey you know what I don't want this I don't need this I want something else and they can get into that into that mode of, of creating and being living a bigger life and um, there are so many different ways that people can do this Mm -hmm. And so many different ways that people get tied down. I just I give you one other example. 
when I tell people here that I have a clutter clearing program, I can literally, and I've seen this and I've done it, and I, I kid you not, I can guilt trip any millionaire into working with me. And with three sentences, I use the word clutter and they immediately feel, oh my God, you should see my closet. You should see myself. Oh my God, that's my problem. I need your help. People are overloading themselves with unnecessary stuff to a degree that they can't even move anymore. They spend all their money on things they don't need. They can't even live in their places anymore. They have no sense of organization. Uh, they don't even know. They are just in constant reaction mode. And that's how they are over here, right? And it, one of my goals is, and I have a program for this, and I have a written book, is to help them see that that's not necessary, mm. that that's not, you know, it, there's no value in it for them. And when they have less things, they feel less weighed down, and they feel more organized, and they feel they have the freedom to think and make better choices. It starts really on such a small level. And EFT is great for that, but so are other things, you know, and um, that's where I see myself go. And my guess is going to be that um, I set the direction and I put it out there, um, which I'm already working on, and it's just going to show up for me. You know, I, I know that it's, it's just, I'm going to be led in the right directions and I'm just going to do my thing and, Fantastic. and, help people out and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, just like, yeah. Just like this, you know, I mean, this is, it's, it's a blessing and I'm just wondering what else I can do to support you. Um, <laughs> oh, you do have a lot for us. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. You know, I don't need to know where I end up, but I always, need to know the direction that I'm going into. And I will be speaking. You will see YouTubes. <laughs> um, I will also, yes, I will make my testimonial. Um, <laughs> and if this isn't enough, I'm making them. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's what happened here, you know. And um, as a parent, I think setting your kid out on her own when she chose what she wants to do, yeah. um, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. And it's not that we want to get rid of her or can't wait for her to, to head out. It's that, uh, you know, it's the next step in life. So that's where we're at. <laughs> so that's how I am. And I'm sticking to it. Um, <laughs> Good on you. Keep fighting. Hey, thanks so much, Ingrid, for spending the time to, um, to help us out with this video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.